It's the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202. This is how we do when we party. It's the 202. It's the 202. Hello, everyone. Here's what's coming straight to you on the 202. Today, a special visit from international soul and jazz musician Frank McComb. That's right. Not only is Washington, D.C. the place for local and national recording artists, but even international stars like Frank McComb. Circle the 202 area code on their tour list. It's all happening right here on the 202. And welcome to the 202. I'm Furman Patterson, here with my lovely co-host Michelle right at my side once again. Yes, I'm going to be by your side. Thank you, Furman. And over on the turntables is the 202's guest DJ today, DJ Lali. Furman and I are both thrilled to have the man deemed the soul jazz superman by his fans stop by the 202. We're talking about international recording artist Frank McComb. <laughs> now, I just want to say that if you've ever heard of vintage Donny Hathaway, Marvin yeah, Gaye, yeah. or Stevie Wonder Jam come on the radio and thought they don't make records like that anymore. Well, listen up. They still do. And one of them is this man right here. Woo! Thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, thanks for having me. Frank. Thanks for coming to our living room. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> I love that series, by the way. You do a series called The Living yeah, Room. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I do concerts around the world, just me and the piano. I give my likeness to the people. And I invite people to come up, bring their horns, kungas, whatever. And uh, play your, fra your favorite Frank McComb song, or whatever song, even if we don't even know the words to it. Wow. Just have fun. Yes. Like me. That's like what's me. Up. So the experience is interactive. You encourage. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Wow. I encourage people to. You know, if you're a shower singer, I encourage you to come up and sing. <laughs> I, I, I mean, the ones that can sing, that's cool, but I want the ones that can't sing. Oh, so, yeah. See, okay. Those all, are real stuff. All stars. I know is if I ever have one voice to choose that I can sing because I can't sing. Oh, everybody, can, everybody, no, 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 everybody can sing. Some just don't need to be heard doing it, but <laughs> everybody can sing, man. <laughs> well, we're, we're about to hear some of that right now. Yeah. Because I, I oh, can't man. wait. Michelle and I have been waiting all week for this. Yep. Really? Yes. Oh, cool. Yes. Yep. I've loved right. you for a long, long time. Wow. Thank you. Now nice, nice you're telling my age. Look at, look at that. Look at that. My kids remind me Stop enough. Stop that. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Take it Wait, man. <laughs> right on, man. Right on, right on. There are no words to explain how I felt when she walked by me. Eyes met when she continued to pass. And go away. How clearly I remember that day. The brown in her eyes cried lonely. I'm so lonely. Even though she was surrounded by many rich, foolish friends, those so called friends. Oh, how I long. Hold her, show her that I could care less about all the glamour. Cause none of it matters. I only fess the truth that she needs true love too. Simplicity, babe Woman, I don't need None of your things To validate me What does it profit a man To gain the whole wide world And lose his soul And obviously she does not know that I carry something priceless that a money cannot buy. And later on, 
soon she'll realize that I'm right. Cause at the end of each day, when her friends are gone, she deals with her lonely nights. And oh, how I long to know her. I want to hold, hold her. I want to show her that I could care less about all the glamour. None of it matters. I only fess the truth, baby. That she needs true love to Love can't be bought, but lust can. And you have many friends only when things are good. But if you were to lose all you have, I would be there for you, yeah. Like a good man is supposed to do, oh, how I long to know her. I want to hold her, I want to show her that I could care less about all the glamour, girl. Of it matters. I only vest the truth. The genie to love. Oh, how I long to know her. I wanna hold her, completely show her that I could care less about all the glamour. Cause none of it matters. I only vest the truth. The genie to love to. What you gonna do when your friends turn their backs on you the moment you lose it all? Give me a little time, baby. You won't have no more lonely nights. Yeah, you need love to go. Oh, go lonely love to Wow, wow, Woo. man, fantastic, you Thank you, fantastic. We're glad you have you here today. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm glad to be here. I like songs that tell stories, man. That's from my latest record, Soul Made Another Love Story. And um, everybody needs love. Yes. Yeah, we do. Yes. Yeah, we all do. Yeah. No matter how rich you are, there's somebody out there for you. Just, and it's, you know, <laughs> as, as you can tell by the lyrics, it's a, you know, about, it's a song about a man who makes less than the woman that he's in love with, mm. you know? Man. And just because the woman makes more, you don't demasculate him. You don't do that. That's right. He's still ahead. You Ooh. not only sing good, you you teach stuff. <laughs> You're teaching us stuff. That's right. right. That's right. All right. Hey, man, I'm more. just trying to help us out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We want to well, be wealthy and love. <laughs> when we come back, Michelle and I are going to get schooled by Frank McComb on what being a true independent artist is. And it's all about to come back. Plus, Frank is also going to let us in on what something called booby school is all about. <laughs> Stay with us. The 202 will be right back. <laughs> it's the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202. Welcome back to the 202. From George Duke to Shaka Khan to Branford Marsalis and Prince, Frank McComb has worked with more music giants than just about anyone. So how has that all <laughs> shaped his own music? And what we want to know is, who's the artist that Frank McComb most wants to work with? Ah, you guys would be surprised if I told you. Uh -oh. Really? No, surprise oh, us, surprise us, tell us. Dr. Dre. Dr. Really? Oh. See, I told you you'd be surprised. Ah, I am Doc, surprised. Dr. Dre, I would love to work with Dr. Dre. That oh, yeah. would be a lot of people so don't, people, awesome. A lot of people don't work, a lot of people don't realize I worked with Jazzy Jeff and Fresh Prince in my, when, when I was much younger. Yeah. I worked with a lot of people, man, from Fred Hammond and Gospel, John P. Key and Gospel, to to Will, to, to uh, Bramble Marcellus and Jazz. I mean, I, I can pretty much do it all. So Dr. Dre, 
Come on, man. Let's get it in. <laughs> what is it you like, like about yeah. him, especially? He's musical. Yeah. He gets it, you know? Yeah. And most DJs are musical. They get it. Yeah. You know, a lot of DJs get it. They have to do homework, man. They, I have a lot of respect for them. Sonically, Dr. Dre is so just pure. You yeah. know, when I listen yeah. to his music, again, some people really don't give him the credit that he deserves because he mostly yeah. does hip hop and rap. But sonically, man, that, ooh. And he's just, a great businessman, obviously. Yeah. Oh. You know, <laughs> so I have a lot of respect for that. And, uh, you know, just when I went on this independent journey, I did my homework. And uh, I grew up listening to people like, like the Eisley Brothers, who actually started their own company, T Neck, mm. out of T Neck, New Jersey, got distribution through mm. what we know now as Sony. It was CBS back then. Uh -huh. So they've been independent a long time, you know. Then I look at people like George Clinton, who had one group of people uh, with two different names mm -hmm. signed to two record labels at the same time, what? more than once. Wow. Funkadelic was uh, in the early '70s. Funkadelic was with Westbound. Yeah. Parliament was at one time with Atlantic, Atco Records. But then, but then later on in the '70s, Warner Brothers went to. I'm sorry, uh, Funkadelic went to Warner Brothers, but Parliament went to Casablanca. Wow. But it was the same group of people. You yeah. had the space, Parliament had the spaceship and the, you know, the oh, gimmick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Funkadelic was all about the music. Well, guess who we had on But it was the same group show. of people. Guess who we had on the Sitting show right in the who, who right is in that, that same seat. Who yeah. might that be? <laughs> <laughs> who in the world? <laughs> Mr. George Mr. Clinton. George Clinton. And you are a kid. Yeah, On yeah. stage. And and I point. know y'all a kid. And he got down too. <laughs> May the funk be with me. Let me get comfortable in this seat. Oh, man. I that's think what the I'm funk is kind of already with you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it is. You're quite funky, Frank McComb. Oh, man. wow. Thank you. But I listen, appreciate talk it. Talk about the whole independent thing yes. because you hear a lot of artists these days, and especially more in the hip hop world again. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. talking about being an independent artist. They're saying, I do it my own, so uh, <laughs> I get every single dime from every single album or single sold. What, well, what? I, I will tell you, being independent uh, has now become a genre for most people. Mm. It's a lifestyle for me, because you're literally talking to my booking agent right now. You're talking to the head of my management right now. You're talking to the guy who plays the shows that he booked, collects his own money, pays his own bills, pays his own musicians. I'm syndicated like the mob when it comes to musicians. Hello. I got them all around the world. So I can just show up and play shows. Just tell them what we're playing in advance, and I show up and play. You are literally looking at my whole team. What? Well, the head of my whole, I mean, I literally run every department of a record label, management, and booking for myself. Wow. Literally, there is no money machine behind me yet. So you got to pay all those folks. Yeah. Well, the thing is, <laughs> but the thing is, because I know how to do all these jobs, I don't have to pay all these. Yeah. Jobs. I literally know how to uh, record, mix, master my own records and sell them directly to the people. Yeah. You know? So most of it is management of yourself. And I'm your time. literally doing everything. Yeah. Do you ever you get know? mad with yourself and say, come on, stop slacking? Say it again? Do you ever get mad with yourself and say, come on, stop slacking? Man, I don't have time to even say, don't <laughs> st uh, stop slacking, because I'm always moving. <laughs> I mean, literally, I literally do everything. And, it's, wow. and, and, and I have to say this with, with class, being independent, you know, it costs a lot of money to make these records. Yes. They do. I mean, it, it really does. And I'm trying to school people now. You got this one physical CD. Now, this is my last record. Okay, live okay. to bitter end, remembering Donny Hathaway. It's a tribute to Donny yes, Hathaway. Yes. At the same place he did his record in 71, the bitter end. Yeah, I had just recorded a record in Johannesburg and was telling them about it when I played the bitter end. They said, well, why don't you do a record here? Curtis Mayfield did a record there. Donnie did a record there. They asked me to do a record there, so I was honored. So with this package, it's a physical CD, the whole nine, you know. But look how thick it is. We take 100 of these on a plane. The airlines got us for the wait. Oh, but wow. you got a download card right here. Yeah. Look how thin it is compared. Yeah. So you got all the artwork and everything That's right. on, a, on, on, on a code here. You go online, you, you type the code in, and download the whole record and the artwork. Man, digital got, marketing, digital yeah, sales. I've got, I got 25 of these against one CD, and look at that. Yeah. Wow. So that saves us a lot when it comes to traveling. So I have to think ahead of the game. I mean, think about it. We don't have too many computers with disk drives, and cars are not coming with CD players. Where are you going to play your disc? Yeah. It's a cup coaster now. <laughs> <laughs> we want vinyl and we want something to download. So that's why I love why I'm at. how you've been around a, a while. So you have those roots. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, rooted just back in uh, you know the way things used to be done. Yeah. But you've kept up with and kept ahead of the way things are today. I mean, that's dope. Well, you should. You should also teach. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you should you know, also teach. You should mention Do that. Some seminars. I, just, I, I was. I mean, we're talking. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. It's funny you mention that. I have not gone to anybody's college. I graduated from Glenville High School in Cleveland, Ohio, same school as Steve Harvey, the comedian, graduated from. We're both tar brothers. And that was it. I was on the road with the Rude Boys, Laverne and the OJs at uh, 
19 I was. I was on the road, my first touring gig, I was a musical director, right? I'm on the road with these guys. They're teaching me everything I need to know. Um, what I've learned is that if you stick to your guns, stick to what you're doing, it, it, it will work for you. It will, it will work for you. So being on the road with all these guys, I ended up speaking at Stanford University earlier this, this, this year. Stanford University, I have no college education, though don't mean I'm a dummy. But let me tell but I ask spoke you. At Stanford. I speak around the world at many, many colleges, believe it or not. When you spoke at Stanford, did you talk about booby scoop? <laughs> <laughs> In fact, I did. I did. <laughs> they asked me, what is booby scoop? Booby scoop, B-O-O-B-E-E-S-C-O-O-T. Well, what happened was, I was looking for a name in the mid-90s, all right? And uh, I was, back then, you had to go to the county recorder's office. And uh, I had to go and meet this lady. This lady, you know, I love my seniors, okay? But this lady was so old that she knew all the names <laughs> that came in, right? And she says to me, I'm bringing names, right? I'm bringing all these names. And she says, no, nah, baby, no, nah, that name belongs to somebody. You got to come back with something unique. And I said, oh, okay, now mine just like three or four trips. So we had just had our daughter Mari, all right? Yes. My little bunny rabbit, I love my bunny rabbit. Well, she was our toy, our human toy, right? And she was so, she's so smart that we would put a toy, I would just dump, we didn't have furniture, that she owned the house. We just mm -hmm. dumped all of her toys in the floor, but she always found the new one. That's how smart my daughter is. Wow. So my wife is ready to change her diaper. And her diaper is soiled. She just woke up. And I said, uh, wait, Nisa, wait. Let me put this toy. I want to see it. I want to see it. She said, boy, give me that baby. I said, no, I want to see this. I got to see this. So I put the toy in the middle of the floor with all her toys. And she sees it. She's just starting to cross. So she's scooting. And that little diaper was so soiled. All you saw was her booty. <laughs> right? Just, she's going. Right? And she found the toy. And my wife said, oh, look at little booby scoot. Oh, my God, look at little booby scoot. Oh. I said, there's my name. Thank you. <laughs> Went to the county recorder's office. And I wrote it out just the way it sounds. Boo. B O O B B E E S C O O T movie scoop. <laughs> Went to the county recorder's office and I said, okay, Miss Lady, here. Gave her that name and she said, boo, boo, that boo. <laughs> Baby, I'm just gonna give you the seal of California. Go on. I run in the paper, but go on. You got your name. And that's that's how I got the name Boobie Well, baby, that's <laughs> unique. <laughs> <laughs> so it was all because of my daughter. Love it. Wow. Named after my baby. Boobie scoop. <laughs> Coming up, Frank McComb is gonna jump on those keys once more with another performance. Stay right where you are for more music magic on the sound stage when the 202 returns. <laughs> It's the 202. 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 I was blessed with the opportunity to write a song with Branford Marcellus in a group called Buckshot LaFon. Hit song. It's called Another Day. Check this out. Another day. Staring out of my window. Thinking about tomorrow. Wishing things were clear. No need to rush. I ain't gonna worry Cause any moment my sorrow Is bound to disappear Sometimes I tell myself I'm better off without you Then I have to face the emptiness I feel inside without you, yeah, and find a way to make it through another day. Mm -hmm. I need a way to find the truth within me, yeah. Except the fact that I love you, baby. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger 
I must have the heart of a lion Shifting through love's with make it easy, yeah Sometimes I tell myself I'm better off without you, girl, yeah Then I have to face the emptiness I fell inside without you, girl And find a way to make it through another day yeah, 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 yeah. You've got a place right here. We're going to leave this piano right here on this stage. Anytime you want to drop in our living room. Oh, I love that. Me. Yes. This piano comes that. with me. This is nice. Oh, no, 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 yeah, no. Put it on top of the vehicle to brought me. I'm, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, that's that's right. You, we got Thank you. you. We got you, Frank McCormick. <laughs> right. Well, thanks a lot, man. Thanks what a great you. show today. Thanks to our guest, Mr. Frank McComb, and of course, my lovely co-host, Michelle Wright. And thanks to DJ Lali and Ooh. to all of you for watching us. Furman and I will see you again next time on The 202. <laughs> This is the 202. This is the 202. This is how we do when we party uh, in the 202. Yeah. Hey. Home of that good live music. Come on. Live on set, live audience approves it. Uh. The best hopes that don't get no tighter. Yeah. Herman and Michelle can't get, get no writer. Taxation, no representation. No. But the 202 repping for the capital nation. <laughs> so from 703 to the 301. Yeah. yeah, we all come to have some fun. It's the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202. This is how we do when we party in the 202. Yeah. It's the 202. Yeah. It's the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202. Yeah. It's the 202. This the 202. It's the 202. This is how we do when we party it's in the, the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202. Uh. It's the 202.